Now we've thought about the different types of events website, we can decide which events plugins you will use for your website. Throughout this course, I'm going to be focusing on a suite of events plugins from US WordPress company Modern Tribe. The events calendar is a free WordPress events plugin and is actively used on over 400,000 websites around the world. So it's definitely one of the most popular plugins out there for events, if not the most popular. The events calendar can be used with another free plugin, Event Tickets, to take bookings for your free events. You can use the events calendar and event tickets on their own without paying a penny. But the neat thing is that by extending them with some paid plugins, also from Modern Tribe, you can start making money by selling places on your paid events, as well as selling other products alongside your events. The main paid plugin you're likely to need is Event Tickets Plus, so this is the add-on we'll be covering in this course, although there are others which you can use to further extend your website if you choose to do so. All these plugins are developed by Modern Tribe and are very well respected and supported, so they're ideal for your events site. Let's look at each one in more detail to help you decide which combination of these plugins you need for your site. First we'll look at the features that you get with the free events calendar plugin. So it lets you add events and display them in a list or a calendar. What it can't do is let you take bookings online. Now if you organise events that are not bookable online, either because they're free or you take payment outside of the website, then the events calendar may well be everything you need and you can skip to the next lecture. Or if you need to take bookings on your website, then you'll need to extend the events calendar with some of its free or paid add-ons, which I'll discuss next. Event Tickets is another free plugin and it lets you book, book tickets onto your events. And it does this through an RSVP format, so you're not taking paid bookings, you are letting people RSVP to tell, basically tell you that they're coming. And it can send email notifications as well. So, like I said, you can't use it to take payment for events, and you can't use it to display price as a separate field. That's a bit strange, because with the events calendar plugin on its own, there is a price field, but people can't book. With event tickets, it actually removes the price field, and so it is really des designed for free events only. And you also can't use event tickets to sell other types of product. We'll tell you how to do that in a minute. So, Events Tickets Plus is a paid add-on which you'll need if you want to take payment when people book your events. It only works alongside the free WooCommerce plugin, which is the world's most popular e-commerce system, so you'll need that too. When I say WooCommerce is popular, I'm not exaggerating. It's absolutely huge and powers over 26% of e-commerce websites worldwide. And this chart is from October 2015, so it will be even higher than that by now. As a bonus, WooCommerce let you sell other types of products too. You can literally use it to sell anything, ranging from physical products, which will ship to your customers, to virtual or downloadable products. So, to go through each feature one at a time, it lets you sell paid tickets to your events. You can take payment online by check, PayPal, etc. It lets you sell other types of products. And it lets you do other e-commerce related tasks such as setting tax rates, shipping rates, coupon codes, sale prices. It's a proper e-commerce system so it's not just about events by now, it, you can do lots of other things too. And if that's not enough, you can use the many, many other WooCommerce plugins to add even more functionality. Now I know this sounds like a lot of plugins. As a general rule, I recommend keeping a WordPress website as simple as possible behind the scenes and you absolutely should not clutter up your website with loads of unnecessary plugins. I've seen far too many people destroy their websites by installing tons of plugins that they don't need without knowing what they're doing and that can cause lots of problems such as making a website really slow to load, it more likely to break after an update and is a nightmare to maintain. However, that's not what we're talking about here. The plugins that I'm recommending to you are from a small number of very reputable, world-leading WordPress companies. 
The reason that Modern Tribe have created three event plugins rather than one is to keep things modular so that you only install the plugins with the features that you actually need for your website. And all the plugins are designed to work together and are tested fully together. And WooCommerce works alongside them to provide the e-commerce features. So although it sounds like a lot of plugins, there is a reason for it and it's done in a responsible, professional way. We've talked about a few different plugins and I understand if you're a bit confused by now. To help you get your head around which plugins you'll need, let's look at some example scenarios of different types of events website. Take a look and decide which one is most similar to your needs. This will help you to figure out which combination of plugins you need. The first example we're going to look at is the vegetarian food stall. A producer of homemade vegetarian meals sells their food at local markets around the, the county. Their website needs to list which events they'll be attending so that people know where to find them and drop in. The website won't actually sell tickets to these events. So let's go through their needs. Do they need to list events? Yes, they do. Do they need to take bookings online? No. Which plugins do they need? Just the events calendar, the free version on its own. The next example we're going to look at is a fostering information evening. So this is where a fostering agency will run regular information evenings for people interested in becoming a foster carer. The events are free, but the agency needs to know how many people are coming just to make sure there's enough space. So do they want to list events on their website? Yes. Do they want to take online bookings? Yes. But are the events paid? No, these are free events we're talking about. So what plugins do they need? They need the events calendar with event tickets, both free plugins. Because they're not paid events, they do not need the events tickets pro plugin. Our final example is the training company. We have a lot of clients that fall into this category and it's a very popular type of events website. It's a website to sell training courses online. So with this example, a training company organizes training courses on various topics. Their website needs to make it easy for people to find out which courses are available and book and pay online. So what do they need? Do they need to list events? Yes. Do they want to take bookings online? Yes. Do they want to have payments for their events? Yes. So what plugins do they need? Well, they need all four of the plugins we've talked about. The events calendar, the events tickets plugin, which is free, and the paid event tickets plus plugin, which only works with WooCommerce. So those are the four plugins which we will cover in this course to combine to meet this exact scenario. This combination will also give them the option to sell other types of products alongside their event. For example, a training company might sell a downloadable ebook or a printed handbook to accompany the course. So now you've decided which events plugins you'll need, you'll know which lectures in the course are most relevant to you and which plugins to use for your site as well. And the next step is to set up your test site so that we can get started. So I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.